And it's Priscilla Batsella at Spring Hill, Florida. And it, at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And it's impossibly hot and I have arranged all of my colors in advance. My canvas is pre-primed. It's an 18 by 24 inch. I have basting brushes. I have one of these silicone tools I trimmed out and made teeth on. And I was gifted from a good friend this other tool that I think is from Princeton Art Tools, the same as the spatula that you can find on the Amazon link under the link tree that holds all my links that's under the video. That's a swipe card. This is the chalk. I drew a line. I actually measured and drew a line down the center so I could try and keep myself centered. That's my favorite Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. That's the number one square end. This is the OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula and that is what I put this paint on the background of this canvas with. These are tweezers which are indispensable when you're working outside just in case you need to know that. This is a tri-trip trip bottle and it is also, I think I shook that before I put that in this this morning. It doesn't matter what gets on this canvas right now. So I've picked my colors and I've used some acrylic enamel black uh, or I've added that to the mix to try and choose what colors are going to go between my stripes and usually I would use a shovel to apply paint but right at this moment I want to move that hair. Is it? It looks like it is. It looks like it was here from yesterday. I don't think I'm getting that out of there. Well it's a small one so I guess I'm going to learn to live with it because otherwise I'm digging it out of there. So I'm going to follow my lines. Don't press down too hard because there's a stretcher bar in the middle of the back. I'm going to space them out evenly. I feel like I should just do one side, one side at a time because it's so, oh, I just screwed that up. You know what I can do? I can grab my gold. And I can just fatten that one line up that came out thinner than the other two. I can't do anything about the fat, extra fat marks there. I got room for one more of these. It would be really nice if that center one would come out. All it takes is one little filament. Might as well start all the same way. I don't think I got it, but I'm going to fix it the same way I fixed the other one. And then I'm going to figure out what I can do about that. So obviously, I'm going to do whatever I'm going to do on one side. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to bring that right over here for right now. And I'll just repeat the process on the other side. So I'm going to put my black enamel right down the center line. My favorite folk art purple flash color shifting right below it. And a darker purple. You know what? I really want the dioxidine purple below that. This will be good practice for the other side, and hopefully, I can do it just the same way. This is a Venetian blue iridescent from Modern Masters. The Deoxidine Purple is a Hobby Lobby bulk brand. This is a Folk Art Color Shift in Green Gold, which I wasn't planning on putting right where I just put it, but I changed my mind. And This is a Turquoise Color Shift from Folk Art. And this is going to be an interesting experiment because I haven't tried it on the dry canvas. I haven't tried just doing the stripes before, honestly. So turquoise, what do I want next? I want to go back and use my multi-surface neon purple from Folk Art. That's another acrylic. And I kind of want more blue. I do. No idea what it'll be like, but whatever it is, it's going to be pretty colors. And I want some red or some orange in there, so I'm going to put that orange in right now. You can tell I'm not striving for perfection. So what do I want in the last row? 
I really like the turquoise. I thought about using the emerald green. The emerald green might look really nice. Oh boy. No, not do I'm not doing it. I'm going to use some purple. It's a slightly different shade. So there will be three purples in there. And I think this has iridescent gold. gold golden product called iridescent pearl fine in it. Now, usually I don't start in the middle, but I think that that's a, good, a really good idea to start in the middle and work my way out. And what I'm going to do, haha, maybe I should measure. <laughs> Let's measure over. It's not exactly, well, it says it's two feet. So the middle is right, 12 and 12, 24. Right there where it says the one foot mark. So I'm just going to leave a little bit of, leave a little bit of pain out. Yeah, I had a momentary brain cramp. So I'm going to try this. my little homemade tool, which is nothing more than a piece of acetate stuck onto a skewer. And I'm planning on doing all kinds of other things. I have an ant on me. Go away, ant. <laughs> They're so small here. They're just teeny tiny. I'm taking the residual paint and I'm just putting it over the edge. And then I'm scraping off what's left after that into a little dish. And I'm going to let all of that that's on that edge and all of that that was on in the pan get used. So now I want to play. I'm going to go split the difference. Because I can. That's the name of my first book. It's on the Amazon link. It's under show more. Where's my, yep. Wet rags. T-shirt, not T-shirt, cotton sweatshirt. That looks a little, I think I want to drag a little more cautiously. With the idea of maybe building up less paint. So I can keep my marks similar. Yep, I got that over on both sides. So this is totally an experiment that I've wanted to do forever. And I'm going to take my skewer. Down either side of this. Should have been a little closer on that side. And I'm going to flip it over. Flip it over again. Now, do I want to do another swipe? Because the swipe didn't do much of anything. But I could swipe up from the bottom, especially if I put a little bit of black. Why don't we put some black enamel right in the middle of those two rows? Three rows? Four rows? <laughs> yeah, brain cramp. Really hot. Probably 100 under here right now. So seldom have I ever swiped up from the bottom. Another good experiment. I'm expecting cells. Light pressure on the card. So far lifting up hasn't caused me too much trouble. No dribbling paint anywhere, surprisingly enough. I kind of want to take this other tool I like those though. Oh, do I? You know what? I'm just going to go in there with the, uh, the smaller end. Of my homemade swipe tool attached to a bamboo skewer. And hope I can remember all the stages for the other side. I might want to do something entirely different on the other side. Any chalk residuals will just wash away tomorrow. It's all about the stripes. So there's nothing really wrong with any of that. I'm not complaining. I am going to wipe off my... You know what, I'm going to do that in the rag dish. I was going to throw it in the bucket, but I'm not going to do that. 
because I might want that in a minute. So let's go over to the other side and try and repeat the process. Let's see how that works. <laughs> I want that center center spigot to be clear. Oh, and there's the lump that was in there. So we're going to be successful. Yes, that's what I wanted. Very good. So that one was a little far away. I'm not even sure a steady hand is as necessary as you probably think it is. Because even if you're wobbly, you're still dragging other tools through there. It has to be organic. It just does. So let's start the same way we started before. I see I have something. There is a reason I tie my hair up in a bandana and it's not for aesthetic purposes. It's to keep the hair out of the painting. I do want to move all of that black right down there. And I can do it fairly easily, if not cautiously. So now that's filled in. So next color was the purple, dioxidine purple. I'm glad I didn't try and do this all at once, because I don't think it would have worked very well. I could probably change up the colors. So that they weren't the same on both sides and that would probably be fine. Green, gold. My hand's not as steady today as it can be some days. I thought about leaving a gap too and I didn't do that. But I kind of figured with this first experiment doing things the, exactly this way. Turquoise and Neon purple from Folk Art, multi-surface acrylic. I do love these colors. You can tell because I use them constantly. Um, da -dum -dum. Blue again. I do just want to wildly willy-nilly swipe across make it completely different like flamey stuff on this side, but that's just not going to happen this time. I don't know that anything spectacular is going to happen to finish this, and I hope I get it finished in time, and that's my one goal. So I started with, I'm going to think I started with this tool. I'm going to try and stay in line, wipe it off. Stay in line, use the residuals. I had perfect drips down that side. Check my other side right now. Perfect. Cool. Move along to the other side. Hoping you can see all that. So the edges match. Now, what did we have? We had one more here. And even if that's not exactly what I did, that's what I'm doing this time. So if it's different on two sides, so be it. It's definitely too hot to be doing this. You know when the little area under your eyes is gathering moisture. Not tears of joy. So, I don't think you really need to make straight lines, but if you do, you do. But it'll work even if you don't. That's my theory, and I'm sticking to it. I need a wet rag to wipe off my skewer. 
and I'm going to do just what I did before, hopefully in the same exact places. I could probably just stick the skewer in and I don't need to actually hold it down. It'll be interesting because I'm not going about it in the same exact order as I did last time. I just want to stick that in once and see what it looks like. I don't think I have to pull it down far at all. I kind of like it that way. That's cool. Don't tell anybody I did that. Because <laughs> it doesn't really pull the black enamel down much. So in essence, it doesn't actually matter much. So far, so good. And the less I pull it, the less mud I make in my leftovers dish. And I'm going to cover that leftovers dish right now. Grab my little tool. I want to go up from the other side and see how that works. I want something... I want to use the basting brush. Okay. Change of plans. Do I have... No, I can't use that. I need something with more, more tines on it. Okay, we're going to pretend that this is going to work better than the other one, and I bet I'm right. Yes, I am. I can still tip all of this. Flip that over. That's just about geometric. Okay, so that's it. That's time. That leaves me two minutes to tell you guys that I do sell my artwork. I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill. If you want to get in touch with me in regard to either one of those things, my email address is right under the video. I'm going to grab Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula. Go right down the center of those so I can sort of herd that purple back where it belongs. It's not exact, but it's kind of cool, and I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. Well, I would if I'd brought it out, but you're going to be gone soon enough, and it's warm enough, so uh, the paint will stay very liquid while it's getting ready to get gloppy, and uh, I love you guys. There's over 88,000 of you. I want that to go down there. Matter of fact, just want to make a minor adjustment. I'm not, usually I would look at it and see if there was anything I really wanted to add to adjust things and right at this moment it is too hot to even be here. So I'm just going to say this was an interesting experiment. Thank you for joining me. I love you very much. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Welcome to my channel if you have subscribed. Make sure you ring the bell for notifications. I will see you anon and uh, check the end screen for the for this month's exhibition video. It includes the Drawing Prize winner's prize choices. And you can become entered in the drawing by finding the PayPal and Patreon icons and using them. They are on my channel header and also under the link tree. I really want that black to behave. But other than adding a little bit, I can't imagine how I would do that. Why is it always the one color I'm looking for is the one I can't see? Okay, so let me see what I missed. Under the link tree, you're going to find Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. Under the video, you'll find the description that has my paint pouring recipe in it. And instructions on how I mix my paint also. If you watch the videos longer, you help me out. If you give me a thumbs up, I love you more. If you leave me a comment, you cheer me up endlessly. Thank you so much for doing that all the time. You guys rock. Um, donations, I so appreciate them. They've kept me painting for a long time. And... Uh, Teespring clothing under the video is mine, and you can find more things to shop on. Facebook group, you can find Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more. We'll take you via Shop Now button to, um, <laughs> yeah, to pixels.com and Fine Art America, where my stuff, there's like 1,400 items there. And um, I don't know if I'm in love with this, but it's kind of cool. kind of want to do all kinds of crazy things and then tilt it after you're gone. <laughs> but um, I guess I'm going to leave it for now. Lesson learned. I learned a few things, so that counts for something, I guess. It doesn't keep me from wanting to continue to play. So I'll just do a part two 
in case that happens. And uh, I love you guys. I'll see you anon. This is Priscilla Batzel.